We had a comment from a viewer. Can I stop Social Security and restart later at a higher amount? And you might be wondering who in the world would ever do this. We're going to explore this topic and more. So stay tuned for our full episode. Welcome back. This is Richard with Wisdom Investor. Now, most people are asking the question, when can I take Social Security? Now, you might be asking, why would someone want to stop their Social Security? We're going to explore this topic here today. Now, in this channel, we investigate Social Security, investing for retirement, saving for retirement, deciding when to retire, and much more. Here's our question. Can I stop my Social Security benefit and restart later at a higher payment? The short answer on this is yes, a person can. There's two ways to stop your Social Security benefit. One is called the suspend method and you have to be full retirement age to do this. The second option is called the withdrawal method and this must be done within the first year of taking Social Security. Let's take a look at the suspend method first. You qualify to suspend your Social Security benefits if you have reached your full retirement age and have not reached age 70. Now your full retirement age if you're born after January 1st of 1960, your full retirement age is 67. If you were born prior to that, then your full retirement age is 66 in so many months. What are the benefits of doing this? If you stop your Social Security benefit after you've reached full retirement age, it will then increase and grow by 8% per year to the age of 70. At age of 70, it would stop growing and you would have to take your benefit at that time. Now you might ask who would actually stop their Social Security retirement benefit. Let's look at some possibilities here. Person that has investments or savings to cover the cost of living and they want to allow their Social Security benefit to continue to grow. Or perhaps a person has received an inheritance and they no longer need their Social Security benefit. Or maybe they just decided to wait. Some people want to wait until age 70 to take their benefit. If your longevity looks good, that could be a reason to delay the Social Security benefit. Or you went back to work and you do not need the benefit at this time. Now, I've received comments from many, many people. And the majority of the people seem to want to take their Social Security as early as possible. However, I have received many comments from those that want to wait for various reasons like we just suggested. How would you go about requesting to suspend your Social Security benefit? You can request a suspension over the phone or in writing. Your benefit will be suspended the month after the request and benefits are automatically restarted at age 70. If you're on the suspension and you changed your mind down the road before age 70, you can contact Social Security and they will change it back so that you receive your benefit. Here's something to think about also. If somebody else is receiving benefits off of your record, they will also be stopped. However, a divorced spouse will be able to continue receiving benefits. And any benefits you receive on someone else's record would also be suspended. Medicare Part B would no longer come out of your Social Security benefit and you would be billed for payments in the case that you suspended your Social Security. I'm going to take a look at the withdrawal method now. If you're going to withdraw from Social Security, it must be done within the first 12 months of receiving Social Security. If you're going to withdraw your Social Security benefit, you must do this between the ages of 62 and full retirement age. And you must do it within the first 12 months of receiving your benefits. So if you've already reached your full retirement age, you would then use the suspend method to stop your benefit. Here's something important to understand also. Anyone else who receives benefits based on your work record must consent in writing to the withdrawal. So they need to know that they're going to lose their Social Security benefits when you withdraw. Now you might ask who's going to withdraw their Social Security. You could be a person that's a recipient of an unexpected windfall such as inheritance or you may have received a new or higher paying job and decided to go back to work or you're going to continue with your present job so you want to go ahead and stop your Social Security. Maybe you just want to allow the benefit to continue to grow. 
you will be making more money than the earnings limit. The earnings limit is $19,560 per year in 2022. If you're going to make more than that, you will get part of your Social Security benefit withheld. Here's something very important to understand if you're going to withdraw your Social Security benefit. So if you cancel between the age of 62 and full retirement age, and you've been on the system for 12 months or less, and you're going to withdraw, you must pay all the benefits back. I suppose right there is going to deter a lot of people from using this particular method. Also to note, if you decided to withdraw and then you changed your mind, you want to go back on Social Security, you have 60 days to cancel an approved withdrawal. Now, most people need their Social Security benefits to help cover part of their expenses. However, we did look at some cases here where it does make sense to go ahead and withdraw or suspend your Social Security retirement benefits. So I hope this was useful here today, what we covered. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment. Stay tuned for our next episode.